you know, someone said Fallout 76 is probably not going to be very good. That it seems Bethesda tries to cram 76 games into one. He also writes for Unranked, and he likes to talk about himself using the third person. I even bought and played the game even if every instinct I had told me not to. However, now suddenly it's popular to hate on the game. I guess you can never win those things. Well, the first time I booted up the game, it started in borderless full screen. And I had 12 FPS in a menu. Booting it into full screen solved the issue. Thanks, Bethesda. I can also complain about the fact that whenever you change a video setting, you have to restart the game. Fun, fun, fun. The controls feel weird, and the aim moves around in a weird fashion like my character is drunk. The keybinds are even weirder. Q on VATS and escape to open the map. To enter the menu, you have to open the map so that escape and then press Z. Don't forget to press ALT for throwing grenades and also melee hits. I can't even imagine a situation that's solved both by a punch in the face or by throwing a grenade unless you want your limbs blown off. After all this, the cherry on top is the fact that the game has no push to talk and the mic was on by default. I forgot this by the time I started playing just to realize I was talking in game as well. Oops. Well, maybe this could have all been excused by some decent gameplay, but as you might have heard, that's not the case either. The issues with gameplay are not just the technical ones I mentioned before. The fact that there isn't anything to see in this game doesn't help either. The world is empty and uninteresting. You don't have any human NPCs and no memorable NPCs whatsoever. The story is told using audio logs and is not to help the atmosphere the same way a game like Bioshock would do, it's just to cut even more corners since they don't actually have to show you anything or conveniently code anything. The quests are generic MMO ones, mostly run to the other side of the map or kill something, and it failed even when it came to something as basic as killing a mob. Since someone killed him before me, I had to keep relogging and hoping that I will get on a server where he's still alive. As I predicted, it's pretty terrible as well. When you shoot someone, you invite them to a duel. Unfortunately, they can buff up before starting the duel and blow you up to pieces. Nice job, Todd. This is what you get when a company decides to go for a quick cash grab. I'm sure I missed a bunch of other stuff, there isn't enough time in the universe to complain about everything that's wrong with Fallout 76. This was just the short version of it.